Hey there, I'm Gary Miyakawa, and I'm here to talk a little bit about the Olympus TG6 camera that we've been using for underwater. We've had a great time with it so far, showing us some incredible pictures. One of the things that we struggle with a little bit, mainly because we have old eyes, is the ability to see all the menus. Sometimes, just not the easiest thing to see. So what I've done is come up with a cable now, it's nothing special. It's a standard HDMI to HDMI micro cable. And I've gotten it off Amazon for about $8. I want to show you how it connects in and what it does for you. It takes just a second for us to see this. Let's switch views. So now you can see my TG6 sitting here with my good friend, my helper, right here. So on the TG6, what we have to do is open the end port. This is the port where you normally have a USB uh, connector. It can be used for charging or for transferring uh, images, if you'd like. The other connector is the micro HDMI cable. So I bought a cable from Amazon, and you will see it listed in the description down below. Down below. And you can actually order it directly. Click on it. The cost of the cable is about $8, so it's very nominal might be worthwhile to get a hold of. Now, I'm going to power on the camera, and you will see at that point, once I power it on, you'll see the image that's coming through. Normally, that image would show up right here on the screen, but when you have the cable plugged in, it doesn't turn the screen on, and that's perfectly normal. Now, you can see my little friend there that's here to help us, and I can use the camera as I would normally use it and take a picture. Right now, you can see it's in microscope mode. Uh, so I can sit there and zoom in and get really close to, to my uh, scuba partner there, take a picture of it, and you can see. Now, you can also go to all the menus. So you have the ability to scroll through all the menus and have this plugged into a large screen. So you could have this on a 32-inch, 50-inch, 75-inch screen and be able to look at all the different parameters that you want to change. Much easier than looking directly into the camera, in my opinion. Sometimes, though, we got to do that, especially if we're on site. So I'm going to hit the menu button again. I'm going to zoom in really close this time and get my partner right there. Let's see here. Get a quick shot. You could also use this when you're practicing, especially for your macro close-ups that you want to be able to do underwater with all those nudibranchs or something like that, a seahorse that you might find. So you can use this to help see what's in the image easier and quicker. Just an idea. Anyway, so once you power it off, you're going to see the, the Olympus message come up on the screen. It basically powers down. It goes right back to its standard use. Close that up. Make sure you clean all your seals. Uh, don't want any leaking water. It's an easy way to mess up a really good camera. Anyway, that's all we have for you today. We will be doing more videos uh, on the TG6 as we experiment with it and learn with it. So if you're interested in those videos and want to be kept up to date with what we might be doing, what I need you to do is just go ahead and subscribe to our channel. And with that subscription, you'll be able to get notified whenever we come up with new videos. We have a lot of new videos planned. It will just take us a little while to get them all out onto YouTube. So thank you for your time. And please remember, it's always dive, dive, dive time somewhere.